Hello there, welcome to Yubi Studio. I'm Yubi and I'm a photographer and an artist based in Oklahoma, United States. It's good to see you guys face to face. <laughs> and this video is going to be about my camera gears. I got a question about my gears of what I use from Emily, I think. <laughs> So I decided to do a short little video about my gears um, that I use during my photo shoots. This is just an overall look with all my camera gears. Um, I mean, there's not that many as you think, I don't know, <laughs> um, for my professional photo shoots. Um, I have one full body, full frame body, and I have three prime lenses and one zoom lens and one film camera. So this is my main camera, number one camera for all my professional shoots. Um, it's Canon mirrorless RP full frame. Um, I switched all my gears to mirrorless last year uh, because it was lighter and the function was during, it was great for me. Um, and back then, RP was one of the smallest body that Canon mirrorless full frame line had. So I got this instead of R and it's, it is very light and it's still kind of big for my hands because I have such small hands but it's very light that I even took this for a five-day Chicago trip and it did amazing and it didn't you know hurt my shoulders it wasn't too heavy for me um, it works fast and the resolution's great and it has a flipping screen for my videography and my self-portraits um, and I can't really find something bad to say it um, so <laughs> this is uh, my main body the first lens that I want to introduce is my tilt shift lens. Oh, tilt shift lens has been my dream lens for a long time and I finally got it last year. Mine is 2.8 45mm Canon tilt shift lens. Um, so basically, uh, I'm not going to go through too detailed and technical stuff about this. So it gives you a tilt um, in the perspective in three different points. Um, I think and through that it gives you a freedom of to put bokeh wherever you want. Um, it was originally made for architectural lens or landscape lens um, but uh, portrait works fine with, it, fine with this and because of the freedom of um, bokeh you can create it creates a lot of depth of field and I can't imagine going back to my photography before having this lens because it fits my blurry and dreamy and very creamy buttery photography and portraits that I create um, so this is my what I think this is my favorite lens that I can say Okay, next lens that I have is a Lens Baby 56mm 1.6, I think. Yes, it's a Velvet 56mm one, but we call that Velvet Lens. Um, and this has a, this creates a different bouquet than any other regular primes or tilt shifts. The blurriness is a little bit more smudgy feeling and that um, might be a little difficult to do with portraits, but with still life and abstract kind of images are very perfect with this. So when I usually take like a side image or like a still life to put a layout with the portrait, I use the this velvet lens baby a lot. And it's light and it's manual focused and I've even done a wedding with this and it worked fine. Um, so this is my second prime lens. My third prime is an RF 50 millimeter 1.8. So this is the only RF lens that I have for my RP. So surprisingly, I use an adapter for my RP because all my other lenses are not RF lenses. RF lenses were way too expensive for my budget, but this was the only RF lens um, up for my budget and I wanted a regular prime lens for my weddings and kind of a standard um, occasion. And it is very light. I think RF lenses are very light and well made. Um, I took this um, again to a Chicago trip and it, it did great. It's waterproof and Let's see. Um, I think I bought it used. I um, also oh, I think I bought it new because um, The used and the new price was like almost the same so I just I just decided to get 
anyone. <laughs> so this is my only zoom lens and it's my most recent lens is 2470 Sigma 2.8 art lens. Um, I decided to get this lens because I started to shoot a lot in my living room and because my living room isn't that big, I needed a wide angle lens that is also has a high resolution and bokeh um, to have that consistency in my images. Um, the only downside is really, it's really heavy. Uh, sometimes I'm like, is my wrist okay? I'm holding this huge thing on my RP, but um, it's been doing fine. And the, the image quality is just exceptional. Um, so this is my really proud um, zoom lens that I have. Last not but least, it's my film camera. It's Nikon N65. Um, if you know my photos, I always add film camera to my photo shoots. Um, first, because when I shoot film camera, it's usually at the end of the session or end of that um, set, and it makes the models or the clients very comfortable. It's like a behind the scenes shooter. And because it has a nostalgic filter to it, it's film, um, it creates that, um, behind the scenes that we can't really see from the front lens like the layout of the still life or the set design that I do or the back face of a client I don't know those little um, the perspective that we can't really catch from front is what this guy does and I'm I love film cameras so I really want to incorporate this and just provide the viewer or provide the audience to a, to see a different um, a view and this has been doing a really really good job so I hope you enjoyed or learned something about my gears today um, I have other gears that is for my videography and my traveling but I didn't introduce that today because I wanted to focus on my photo shoots um, please let me know if you have other questions about my about my gears or my photography I'll be willing to do um, answer your questions or do a video over it as well and thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video